welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to put Daisy in her cage because she's deaf and she cannot hear me. Daisy, Daisy, let's No, hold on. She wants to. Every time you turn on the camera, it never works. Ruby, go. Hey. Say a word. Oh, and then she came back. <laughs> I didn't even teach her that. Good up morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We're just headed down to the barn. This Emma's back at work, so it's a chore day for us, the women of the day by day family. All the women that got the horses to begin with. It's our day. It's our day to do chores. Um, before we get started, we're waiting for Gabby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Too money for the dogs to come down. Too money for the dogs to go down. But before we get started, I wanted to tell you guys the thing that I've been trying to explain the last few days about Daisy Dog is like what's so different about her and so special about her from every other dog we've ever owned that I don't know if it's a breed thing or if it's a, if it's just like a deaf dog thing or if it's like how the owner raises the dog kind of thing like what is it what is the most special crazy different thing about Daisy I don't know you don't know what it is I don't know. So I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. Like, why, what is the different aspect with her? Like, what is the thing that's different? Got it figured out. None of our other dog breeds have been guard dogs. Like, Dalmatians are guard dogs. And I, we've never had that before. And I always thought that guard dogs were, like, very protective and very aggressive towards other people. Like, um, if anybody would come and touch her or, or something like that, like that they would be aggressive. But Daisy's not like that at all. She, it's the, I think it's the guard dog part of her that I'm so attracted to. Like, she guards Sophie with her whole life. Like, that's what it is. And I think that's what I saw in the movie that we saw. We saw the movie The Dog the other day. Dog. It was just called Dog the other day. And I was telling you guys how it was like so overwhelming to see how much this dog loved, even though it's all acting. But... I think that's what it is. I think that it's that guard dog mentality in her that makes her love or appear to love so strongly because she guards Sophie, but she's not mean. She's not aggressive. She's gentle and sweet and and would protect Sophie with her life, but, but not with aggression. She just guards her with her body, keeps her in check always. That's why I always got my head slammed against the door. What do you mean? Because... <laughs> And I'm sitting down on the toilet. Um, my dog pushes the door open into my head. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah, it's crazy. It hurts. I know. It usually, like... So I'm not just standing in the bathroom and wait for her to open the door. Yeah, and usually in a family, the dogs are usually pretty much brought up, oftentimes in a family, the dogs are brought up by the parents and the kids are just a part of the family and the dogs and the kids form a bond but it's usually the parents that are a leader but Sophie is the leader of her dog and she's like Daisy is so Sophie is Daisy's person it's who she's chosen to love and guard and it's just so amazing to see isn't it amazing like how does it feel to have a once in a lifetime kind of relationship with your dog amazing yeah it does feel amazing i can't explain it i don't have the words but I think if you have ever had a once in a lifetime dog, then you understand what it's like. Like it's just the most incredible bond, the most incredible feeling. And having that dog have absolutely no aggression in her is so phenomenal. She growled at Molly the other day for the first time. And I've never heard that dog growl in anger ever or frustration or I've never heard her growl ever before. Well, I mean, she, she like, also protects her cage. Yeah. She also loves her cage. It is rainy out. It's warm though. It's mildly warm. <laughs> Sophie can't get here. Oh, she's just breaking the ice. But this is it, you guys. This is it after the spring thaw. And it hopefully will just continue to thaw. Thanks, Penny. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, we'll be in mud season. We are in mud season now. Although I have to admit that I do think we're going to get more snow. Anyway, welcome to today's video. 
I'm excited to see you guys. I'm excited for a fresh new start. Since Dad's not here first, um, at, well, on time, she has to do your stall that you do the arena. Is the arena bad? I don't know. I don't look at it. I just want Gabby to do your stall. <laughs> oh, hello there, Gabby. Yeah, she's late. We already have You're late. <laughs> Not a morning person. I don't know if you guys have detected that over the last years. It's okay not to be a morning person. And if you're Penny, you pee every time. Uh oh. You pee every time. Oh my gosh, don't spill it. There's no clean spots. She always poops in front of the door where there's no shavings. That's her favorite thing. Yeah. That's what happens when you have a female horse. She does things her own way. More ice now? Yeah, it's not as much water, but it's going away. Like the water is actually seeping into the ground now. So what are we gonna do today? Are we feeding them outside? Feeding them inside? Yeah, it's raining. We don't feed our horses outside in the rain. Like. I mean, they can still go outside, but. Yeah. Do you guys think they brought a fidget on me? Do you think she has a fidget on her? Tell us, tell us friends, does she have a fidget? Okay, comment right now. Five, yes, four, sir. three, two, one. You always know it's a trick with Sophie. She has a fidget on her. Why do you have a fidget to do barn chores? Um, because I'm going to bring one. Oh. And it goes in my sleeve like a uh, pocket. Oh. It's a pocket. You know what? Embrace yourself, you guys. Be who you want to be. Wear what you want to be. Read what you want to read. Watch any movie style that you want to watch, any genre. Be oh, I wouldn't go out there. Be you. Just here, be I'll you. show you why you should. Well, my bucket is full of poo. I have to empty that. You slid on the ice? It's not fun, mud. Don't do that because that means the grass won't grow there. Get out of the fun mud, Sophie. <laughs> Tell the truth. Did you ever think that you would think of mud as fun mud? That's normal. Fun normal. mud versus bad mud. All right, I'm going out. I'm going out to empty my bucket. Fun mud is mud that doesn't sink your boot into it. Yeah. That's... It almost, almost, it only almost sinks your boot into it. Yeah, that is boot sucking mud and that is not fun mud. All right, I'm going to clean the arena and then we will feed the horses inside today. Horses can eat outside still because there's still a lot of hay out there or they can stay in. Go out, come in. All right, it's a show. Okay, and walk your horses on trail. Sophie's doing a one-man show. Do you guys see her horse? Nurse, it can be <laughs> That's a dressage horse. Dressage. Come on, Gabby, do a jumping horse. Be a jumping horse, go. Go out there and win. Go out there and win. I mean, Jumps over the poop. A good dressage horse will just jump right over the poop. She does have a hole in her That's face. fine. <laughs> this horse, I think, needs a little bit more exercise. She's losing stamina. The horse can hardly even stand. All right. All right, go, go. This is our jumping edition of the horse show of this morning's horror show. Go, jump, jump the poop. Jump the poop, run, 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 go. Jump the poop, jump the poop. Watch out, watch out, horse, she's about to jump. Uh, no. Come on, jump the poop. No. J jump the poop, you'll be disqualified. I was never in the competition if you get one. Oh, that's so sad, you don't win. The prize goes to Sophie. Horse treats. <laughs> All right, you wanna see the? Do you want to eat um, horse treats? No. You want to see the um, uh, western part? Western pleasure? All right, sure. Show us. Show us, Sophie. Show us the western pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the horse bolts because it's so bored. <laughs> yeah. That was just a joke. Western pleasure is not boring. It's incredible. In fact, Horses need so much more muscle to do Western pleasure. So there are probably some horses that bolt. Yeah, there are probably some horses that bolt. Just like horses bolt even if they're doing what they love. Yeah, sometimes they do that in excitement. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get moving and groove in and get the horses out. This is how we do jobs on the day-by-day -day farm. Everybody has a job. 
Sophie does morning hay, Gabby does afternoon hay. We feed our horses three times a day just because it's easier for them to always have like uh, something in their belly throughout the entire day. You gotta put something really far for Miss Gracie. Put it over there by the door. Obviously we know that horses can go out in the rain, especially when they have like a shelter that they can go in under, but we just know from watching our own horses that ours specifically don't love being out there in the rain. And unless the like food is all thrown in the shelter, then they have to go out there to eat in the rain. And it's just a preference for us. We don't, we know that not every horse has the opportunity to choose to stay in in the rain or to go out and that's okay. Our boys are out all the time, rain or shine or snow or ice. This is obviously our shelter if you weren't wondering. Yeah. Because they can come in and go out. It's a really big shelter. Hmm, Sophie, have you had coffee today? I don't like coffee. Yeah, Sophie, is this is, this is coffee, Sophie. I ate a coffee. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Gabby. Gabby's in charge Release of doing it. Beast. Release the beast. Do you guys remember when we first had our horses home and this was so much fun for us? Horsey number one. She's like, really? Mud and rain again? Go slow. See, she knows. The first is no. As long as I'm with you, I'm alright. And we don't need the drama. We'll find our own nirvana. So run away with me tonight. Cause it feels like I'm dreaming. When I'm waking up next to you. And my world heart is beating. Because I'm beating next to you. Let's find For anybody who's new to our channel, or newer to our channel, and doesn't oh. understand how we got the horses that we got, yeah, let's, let's get out of the way here. So basically, Penny's like, why is my food outside? Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, I wanna, I wanna touch her. Okay, go, 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 go. So anytime your horse lays down, we've told you guys before, it's an opportunity to teach your horse to lay down in a gentle way. If you can give them treats while they're laying down, it creates a situation. <laughs> where they we're yeah we're getting closer and closer so if you had been faster <laughs> anyway the reason that we have Gracie and Willow is that we have um, a mare that we keep at home all the time we used to have get out of the ice <laughs> we're scared we used to have Stella and now we have Penny Penny is gonna be my trail horse this summer I plan to do a bunch of trails with friends not my kids but trails with other women and figure out the whole trail riding thing. And um, to have Penny here at home, we need another horse to keep her company. So we have Willow. And that's exactly why we got Willow, because we had another horse at home named Stella. And this was her little tiny companion. And it was amazing, and, and it is amazing. And Willow was her kid. Willow was her kid. She loved Willow. She let Willow take twice. Like so then, through trial and error, go, go, go little Minnie, because you're about to get bitten by the big mad Penny. <laughs> so then, through trial and error, we discovered that every time we would take Stella somewhere, like we wanted to do stuff with her, uh, Willow would be left home alone. And she got herself so worked up one day when we took, when we took Stella somewhere that we knew that we wanted to have somebody that would always be here with her. So the reason that we have Willow is that she's a companion. And then the reason we have Gracie is that she's also a companion. So that's why we have three. When we take Penny out places, then there are always two here. That, that's our goal, that's our reason. And it might not make sense to everybody, and that's okay. If it makes sense to us, then that's all that matters. And that's what I wanted to say. It doesn't have to make sense to everyone, the choices that you make. As long as it works for you and makes you happy, then it's the right choice. And just to make me look like an idiot, we fed the horses inside, but they didn't have, but they're not having it. They went outside to eat. <laughs> oh, silly horses. Horses are just like kids, I swear to God. They'll do anything to prove you wrong. And it's okay to be wrong. It is okay to be wrong, you guys. All that matters is that everybody is happy and healthy and doing what they like for them. Oh, hello. Hello. 
love my kid. I love him too. He was never the friendliest cat because he was always afraid of the dogs and we always brought the dogs down and the dogs always scared him. Now they can't come down because of mud. Now he knows that sometimes they're not here. Yeah, do you guys think we should get another kitten? Yeah. Uh, no. We need another boy because then we don't want have babies. He's neutered. Well. Well, I mean, a girl that's could. That's why he hated us. Yeah, that was another reason why he had a hard time settling in with us, becoming affectionate, was because we took him to the vet and got him neutered, and he did not love that. And it's okay. A barn, a good barn cat is worth his weight in gold, you guys. And he is, actually. He's quiet and subtle. I love And doesn't cats. cause problems, yeah. But he is worth his weight in gold. It is blew out. <laughs> that's the only problem with this sucker that Sophie made. This, if you guys didn't see the vlog, Sophie's been making suckers. And this one is called cake batter. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I just put it in my hair. Wait, never Cake batter. And I've never had a better sucker ever in my entire life. Anyway, we're headed to the barn. And first we're going to go down and feed the girls. You ready, Gabby? Because it is raining. And can you turn the heat on? Yes. Yeah, the heat. Air on. On. Yeah, we had the air on yesterday. Oh my gosh. I hope everybody that we're with today eats a blue sucker so that I'm not the only one with blue lips. Gabby's oh, eating beef jerky. Show them. Sam and her made it. Did you make it with Sam or did Dad make it himself? Dad, did it. Dad made it himself. Show her. Show them. They can't actually see it. Yeah, it's kind of looking fun funky. Just because something looks funky doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. So remember that, you guys. All right, we are here, and Sophie and I are going to take a trek. A long trek. A long trek. Oh, what's a trek? A tr what's a trek? What's a trek? Uh, the barn looks good, actually. It looks like the water is getting less and less, huh? Okay, so... Oh, it's they're draining it with a hose. Oh, they're draining it with a hose. All right, so I don't want the camera to get wet, so I don't know how much I will video because um, it's raining. Can you guys guess who uh, Sophie's going to ride today? When you look across fields and you see the most beautiful boy on earth and you brave the big icy ditch just to say hi, whoo, and give him treats. Hi, handsome. <laughs> He's been rolling. You can tell? Uh-oh. Come here. Come on. Uh-oh. Storm, come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. They're like, throw it to me. <laughs> you got it. Because there's too many horses. Oh, that one landed in the poo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we got three. Over here, story boy. A oh, little to the left, a little to the left. A little to the right, I mean. <laughs> oh, he found one. Look, look how smart horses are. Here. You need a good brush. <laughs> so can't, lessons have been canceled for a week, you guys. Why won't you come? Lessons have been canceled for over a week. They're afraid of the fence. And I swear the horses are missing their job. All right, let's go. It's looking so much better. The water is flowing out. He's really shedding. He's really shedding. Yeah, you're gonna, we wanted to come early to shed out all of the horses. So anyways, um, who are you riding? Denver. Denver. You know, I love Palomino. Yeah, she really loves great. herself a Palomino. Wow. <laughs> so this is also happening. This is, this is just an annoying day. <laughs> Water and ice and rain and hair. On the other side, he's yellow. On the other side, he's yellow? You're yellow? <sighs> Welcome to riding in Canada in spring. I actually do hate spring. Like, I don't hate spring. I don't hate anything. But spring is my least favorite season of all time. Because even though the weather is nice in terms of like it's not so super hot, it is always muddy. It's always muddy and wet and rainy, and that's my least favorite thing. I already have a horse. Yeah, there's already a horse on the ground over there. Already a full horse. You have to do his belly. Sophie, make sure you do his belly really good. 
Gabby says that she already has horse hair all over her. <laughs> well, her horse conveniently licks the metal. That's what they do at this barn. They all lick the metal. The more I brush, brush the more it comes off. But the more I brush, the more he's like, please do it here. Do it here. He's itchy. They're all itchy. Shedding is hard. So this guy has a lot of wet spots that are going to look dirty because they're wet. I love this horse though. He's getting old, but he's so wonderful. You're so wonderful. Yes, you are. He's like, show me the treats then. Just what you'd always expect to find at a barn, at a horse barn. <laughs> All right, we are up. Brad and I are just talking about how this is, this is hell, guys. It's absolute hell. Do you think it's absolute hell, Brandon? The drink is absolute hell. No, everything is. Like, no matter where you go, everybody's underwater. We could, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, with our, like, boat. Everything is currently out. Where, yeah, where, yeah, actually, the, the world is like, it's like this big, huge thing happening in the world right now where, like, everybody's fighting. Everybody's, like, I didn't lunge. Underwater. Everybody's, like, there's just so much going on, you guys. Like, everybody's under hair. Um, I have a hole in my glove. This is the only one I could find in the car, but look. You look homeless. I look homeless. <laughs> Literally hate my life right now, you guys. It's like wet. My feet are frozen. Sophie doesn't have a horse for show season. Gabby has two horses. I don't even know what either of them are going to be doing. Like, Chino has a shoe off, and our fairy is coming to put it back on on Thursday. It just seems like... Sometimes it just seems like there's just so much going on and it's just hard to like, can't find my phone. Like you ever have those days where it's just like, nothing seems to be going right. And I don't know how you're supposed to handle that. Like what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to just be like, oh well, and then keep going on. And that's I guess what I do. I just keep going on. But my phone is literally missing. <laughs> so that's a problem. <laughs> I know some of you guys have it way worse than a just an annoying pile of rain. It just seems like every time we try and go forward two steps, it just pushes us back and it happens. I think it's Canada, to be honest. Like this weather and this, all of this is just so, so annoying. And I know there's a lot more worse out in the world than weather and horses and trying to figure out what you need to do. Like Sophie doesn't have a horse and... What are we going to do with Finn? And you know, there's just so much. And they're all like kind of minor, but big to us, if that makes sense. But worst of all, I cannot find my phone. Don't you know?